If you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time perfecting one prompt to create an intentional chatbot, but that one prompt doesn't always cut it. With VoiceFlow, you can create a chatbot that utilizes unique prompts in every response while offering users a helpful guide through the conversation. If you can think of the use case, you can program your agent to cover it. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are on VoiceFlow's landing page and they make their mission very clear. They are here to build AI agents with a flexible platform made for teams. And they really do just that. So here we can see a demo of a basic build of one of their AI agents. And this is what it looks like. It's a lot of pathways and user responses to agent welcome messages and replies through suggested buttons, which is what we're gonna be doing today. And you can even go so far as to color code these different components and share that with your team so it's easier to navigate. And the really cool thing about this is that you are able to program your agent so specifically for such specific use cases while following community guidelines, while keeping your brand safe. And that's why all of these really impressive brand names rely on VoiceFlow AI agents, because I think that getting those specific prompts really guarantees your brand safety, or at least nearly guarantees your brand safety. You can go from idea to launch quickly with tools built to scale, which is very important, especially when you're considering how granular these specific response prompts get. You can incorporate knowledge bases, there's a workflow builder, there's a scalable data management system, and there's even developer tools and APIs you can incorporate within your agent. And speaking of that, you can build outside the box with VoiceFlow's developer platform. So you can take it as granular as actually getting into the code, which I haven't seen before in other natural language AI agent builders. So let's just jump right in. Here I am on my agents dashboard in VoiceFlow and I'm going to create a new agent. Let's say for this case, I am an Amazon seller with my own personal website, and I want my personal website to host an AI agent that will answer all of my customers' questions. So I'm going to say this agent is called HelperBot. There is a voice modality option, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do straight up chat, and we're gonna do English for the language. And this is where if I had team members to add, I could add them in here to poke around in the pathways to add or customize it however they would like. But for right now, we're just gonna skip it and create our agent. So it starts out with this sample agent. And as you can see, here is our welcome message. Here is the response that our prompts programmed into our agent generated. And then here are the buttons that the user can choose from. So while a user can deviate from these suggested buttons and type in their own answer, typically if you know why your users are coming to your website and you're answering the same questions over and over, you can predict those use cases and anticipate them. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and create our own AI agent. So I'm going to drag a response block over here and change this start pathway. Okay, so here is where I'm programming my AI agent. I want my data source to come from an AI model, but you could also choose for it to come from a knowledge base. So that is your internal input. But let's go with an AI model. And it's important to note, you can choose the LLM you want it to pull from. I'm just gonna stick with GPT 3.5 because as we get more sophisticated in these models, they are more tokens. So we're just gonna stick with the regular old GPT 3.5. And for my prompt, I'm going to tell my model, say hello in a friendly way and ask the user how you can help them. All right, and for my system, I can program it with a personality or give it any specific friendly details, just really personalize it to my brand. Let's say maybe I sell lots of bright, colorful, fun shirts. So let's say I am a fun-loving, helpful assistant who loves t-shirts. All right, now I like to copy and paste this system because typically I don't like to deviate from my system's identity, but you can actually pinpoint how your users are responding through the buttons and pathways and kind of follow your user's line of thinking and match their energy that way, which is 
really cool. And this platform even measures intent in customer responses. So if your user is feeling frustrated or happy or really any kind of emotion, you can recognize it and respond in kind, which is not something that I've seen before. So VoiceFlow is really doing some things differently. Okay, so let's preview this. Okay, so our response preview is, hey there, how can I assist you today? That is perfect. So now we have our welcome message, but we need to listen to what our users are saying. So we're gonna go down here to the listen icon and we're gonna click buttons and drag them over right underneath that welcome message. So I know that my users typically come to my website when they want to return something or when they want to brainstorm ideas for gifts. So I'm gonna say, I need to return an order. And then another button is I need to brainstorm gift ideas. Okay, I'm gonna add those in and I'm going to add a couple responses here to create pathways for both of those buttons. So if a customer needs to return an order, I'm going to program my agent again to say, respond to a frustrated user with empathy and give them instructions on how to return something to Amazon. All right, we're gonna go into prompt settings and copy and paste that system identity in there and preview the response. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling frustrated. I'm here to help you with your return process. To return an item to Amazon, you can follow these steps. And then all of those steps are there. Looking good. Oh, let's see, it looks like a cut off here. So what I'm going to do there is just give it some more tokens. Okay, and that worked. So also it's important to notice the max tokens slider here. If you do have your responses getting cut off, it might be because your prompt is asking your agent to do more than one thing and your responses are getting kind of long. So if they are kind of long and you don't mind that they're long, extend your tokens, but if you do mind, just edit your prompt. All right, we're gonna connect that button to that response and pull this response down here. I need to brainstorm gift ideas. Okay, ask the user what size of shirt their gift recipient wears. Okay, I'm gonna paste that system response. I'm gonna preview that. What size of shirt does your gift recipient typically wear? Pretty straightforward. All right, and then we're gonna add some buttons in there. Just go with the typical small, medium, large. Okie doke. So I'm going to end the conversation by telling my user to pick a shirt in whatever size they picked, no matter what they picked. So they feel like it's interacting, but not necessarily. It just gives the illusion. So let's give my AI agent the prompts. Suggest to the user they buy a shirt from my store in the size they just selected. All right, I'm gonna go on my prompt settings. And for this, because we're gonna end it pretty abruptly, I'm gonna say I'm a fun-loving, helpful assistant who loves t-shirts, bubbly assistant who loves t-shirts and compliments you often. So let's preview that. Oh, that's fantastic. I noticed that you just selected the size for your shirt. If you're interested, I have a fantastic suggestion for you. Why not check out my store? We have wonderful collections of t-shirts in that size. Perfect. So I'm gonna connect all of these guys to this response. And then I'm going to go ahead and end the conversation. Obviously you would ideally end your conversation in a more subtle, smooth way, but just for the sake of time now, we're just gonna end it right there. And we're going to run this agent. So let's run our test. So it says, hello there, how can I assist you today? I need to brainstorm gift ideas. Okay, it goes to this block. What size of t-shirt does your gift recipient typically wear? I'm gonna say medium. Oh, that's a great choice. I think you look fabulous in that size. Okay, well, we could, you know, <laughs> mess around with that prompting a little bit more to get the model to understand we're buying a gift. But yes, it is very important because these blocks are so specific that you use dry descriptive language to prompt your model in a very specific way. Okay, actually, this is not a response that I'm happy with. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my block and click back here. And let's say, suggest to the user that they buy a shirt from my store. Let's give my store a name. The Colorful Collar Factory. In the size they just selected as a gift for their gift recipient. Let's say your store, because the AI agent is acting on my behalf, so 
we're going to say that this is its store and see if that yields a better result here. Okay, that looks good. So let's try running this again. Before we run the agent, we'll see that it needs training. The more blocks that you add to these pathways, the more that this training will be required. So we can't train it quite yet because it doesn't seem like we have enough pathways formed. But as soon as we do, we would be able to just click train agent and wait a couple minutes and it would fully train itself. So let's run test. Hey there, how can I assist you today? I need to brainstorm gift ideas. What size of shirt does your gift recipient wear? Let's say medium. Oh, I see you've selected a size for a shirt. How exciting. If you're looking for a delightful t-shirt as a gift, may I suggest checking out the Color Factory. We have a wide range of vibrant and stylish shirts that are perfect for any occasion. I'm sure your gift recipient will absolutely love it. Now this is perfect. I'm ready to post this to my site. So what do I do? I'm gonna save that conversation. And in order to get this AI agent from the VoiceFlow platform onto mine, all I have to do is click publish, enter a version name, we'll call this version one. All right, it's successfully published and I can embed this as a widget on my site. So all I have to do is copy and paste this code snippet into my site and I have that AI agent up and running. So there you have it. You can build an AI agent in VoiceFlow, put it right on your website. You can spend as much time as you want on it or as little time as you want on it. You can just pull from the model responses. You can get really granular and upload your own knowledge bases. You can even go so far as to infuse empathy into your agent by recognizing user's response intents, which I've never seen in a chat builder before. If you're interested in building your own AI agent in VoiceFlow, it's really fun and it's so easy to publish. So please post it to your projects page so we can check it out. And in the meantime, if you're looking for more AI tools to elevate your workflow, check out besuper.ai. We have so many tutorials for you right there. We'll see you next time. Bye.